Hello guys, the idea of this tutorial is to do a quick and easy build of Docker container with a simple machine learning model and run it. To complete this tutorial, you should be familiar with first of all Python programming language and second secret learning package that our machine learning model are based on. OS model functions like OS path, environment, get current working directory and something about machine learning models about supervised learning classification problems and terminal operation that we are using for making a docker container and how to open your docker in your computer. In this tutorial you will first of all create a docker file, second build a simple docker container and next thing build a docker container with a host directory, build a docker container with environment variables and then you will manage this kind of file structure. The first thing you manage a train.py and inference.py that controls a train and test TSV files for managing data. And then you will use a docker file that uh, describes the behavior in docker container. Let's go to real example and in here we built our first docker for machine learning model. In here we are having two files, it's the first one is train.py and second is inference.py and the train.py in just a normalized data in a CSV file, it is a train.csv and train two models to classify data and the first model is using scikit-learn and uh, from here linear discriminant analysis LDA is coming while the second one is neural networks. So we are having uh, two models, uh, first and the second. Then uh, inference.py is uh, perform batch inference by loading two models that has been created previously. This will normalize new data coming from CSV file, it is a test.csv, performs inference on the dataset and prints a classification accuracy and prediction that you can see directly on the code itself in inference.py. No more special about the code right now. So open the file explorer and check the file structure here. You should see four files in your window. So open the terminal and check the file of list in terminal as well to be sure that you are on the project directory. You should see four files in this list as well. So clear the screen and go next. Let's create a docker file just by typing touch space docker file and enter. Here is our file in the file explorer and so just drag into your code editor right here and let's write our first comment in docker file. Let's create a simple docker file with the Jupyter Psyche notebook image as our base image. This is the first line we are setting this. We need to install joblib to allow serialization and deserialization of our trained model and then we copy the train.csv test.csv train.py and inference.py files into the image. For train.csv and test.csv is almost done and now we going to copy the train.py and inference.py and this couple of lines do it. So let's finish this line and go next. Yeah for inference.py is done. Then we run train.py which will fit and serialize the machine learning models as part of our image build process which provides several advantages such as the ability to debug at the beginning of the process. Use a docker image id for keeping track or use different versions. So with this line we uh, finish this docker file, save it and go next. So open your terminal window and clear the screen then you can to extend your terminal window to be comfortable with uh, typing your command to build your first docker image. So let's do it right now. Just type docker build minus t and the name of your docker image in my case is docker ml model and minus f stands for file and docker file. And don't forget to add the dot at the end of this line. So remember this comment is very important to build your first docker image for your machine learning model. So enter and uh, our first image is complete. Here on the terminal you can see all the steps that being used to create your first docker image for your machine learning model. So clear the screen and go next. 
It's time to perform the inference on new data from test.csv. For this, we need to run a special command from Docker. It's a Docker space run space Docker machine learning model. And we need to run Python 3 and inference.pi. That is our Python file that is responsible to make a batch performing on a new data set. And as you can see here, we have some results from inference. As output, we can see some results. Let's go to Docker dashboard tool and on the image section, you can see the most recent one that is our image and it's still running and you can navigate into dashboard tool yourself. And uh, let's go here, just press on this container and uh, here you can see a quite long list of uh, action that is running behind your container and uh, this is quite interesting and i suggest you to explore yourself to better understand how it's working so go to the next part of this tutorial we can do a few things that can improve our containerization experience we can for example bind a host directory in the container using work there in the docker file that we are going to do right now in docker file let's add a new line and write our work there variable and it is equal to my data that means that within the image we will save our data files into this directory and it is equal to my data so let's save it our docker file and let's go to make it more understandable i suggest to insert a new line in our inference.pi file and in this print statement i suggest to write some directory path and it is equal from os model and we are getting current working directory and let's print it in the another uh, print statement right here i'm using f string uh, statement in python code and i'm printing a directory path in this line so from this i can to have a output path and it is equal os.path.join and i'm joining a directory path and output.csv file and that is going to be right here and uh, this variable can be used to save our test data set at the end of this code and let's create a pandas data frame from a training set i'm doing it right here in uh, pandas data frame function and i'm saving it to csv file and for saving directory i'm using output path that is going to be from uh, uh, direction uh, Path. So this is how it's working and I suggest now to run our docker file. So let's say with our inference.pa file and uh, the last change is what we have done just before and let's open again our terminal and clear the screen and now it's a good time to build another docker image by the same function as we used before and it will be a model too. The image is building up is still running and it takes some times and in our example it will take approximately 20 seconds and let's wait for this and uh, as you can see it is uh, consume about 16 seconds and uh, you see on the screen that it's being finished now we are ready to run our second uh, docker image by using the same command from the terminal as we used before and in here we need to change the number of the image and it will be the second one not the first one and we need to run our inference.pi file from this command and as you can see we are seeing a directory path in this variable is equal to my data and the result as we saw before in the first image it is as we expected and is going good so we can to check how it look like in uh, the docker tool as you can see the most recent one is here and if you go deeper and to navigate it by clicking here you can see the action that is going in the inside the terminal so it is working fine and congratulations to achieve this step you can invest your time in navigating in this docker tool and let's go to the next part of this lesson so now we can close the docker tool and come back to our project files for future of your development it can be necessary to set environment variables from the beginning the advantage of setting environment variables is to avoid the hard code of the necessary paths all over your code and to better share your work with others on the agreed directory structure. For this, let's create a new directory on our image is my model. And now we are ready to create our first environment variable in the Docker image. And the first one is model there and it is equal to home slash Joan 
it is a standard notebook user in the docker image and my model it is coming from the new folder uh, we created just before i recommend to avoid any spaces in typing your environment variables and now we are ready to create the second environment variable and it will be for model file lda and it is equal to clf it's mean classifier and underscore lda and the end is job lib do the same for the next environment variable and it will be for neural network file so replace only this part is to nn and do the same in value it is nn in here so we have prepared three environment variables in this docker file so it is a good time to save our docker file and keep going on uh, working with the codes so let's start with train.pi and in this code we are going to take these environment variables and it is quite simple procedure we are using os model from python and uh, let's define the variable it's model underscore dir and it's equal to os dot environment and uh, in the brackets we are going to define this environment variable from the docker file so we can do the same for the next environment variable it is uh, for model file it's for lda and it's equal also os dot environment and in the square bracket we define a variable name from the docker file so do the same for the model file neural network it is also os dot environment in square brackets we define a variable name from the docker file also next create an environment variable for model paths and the first one is dedicated for model lda and uh, in here we should define an environment variable that is combining model path for lda and model name itself and in this line i am combining these two values and uh, yeah it is a model file for lda it's a second argument in this line so it's complete and uh, let's do the same for neural network model and uh, yeah i'm pasting this line and this is not ld this is neural network it is an n and replace the end of this line yeah it's looking good so scroll down a little bit in this file and now we are ready to replace these two values in dump function in this code so let's do like this just copy and paste this firstly for lda model just pasting it here in dumb function right now and the second one is for neural network let's copy and paste again in this line because we having an uh, environment variable instead of this uh, hardcore line so it's done and it's successful so it's a good time to save train.pi file and go next and next we need to do the same with inference.pi we need to use the same environment variables that we used in train.pi so copy and paste it into inference.pi right here we just remove the lines that we are not longer necessary and copy it in here so we need to use it in inference.pi in similar way as we used in train.pi so for make it more understandable let's print some variables values in here and in here it is a simple print statement so it's for better debug what is happening inside and remove this line because we don't need it anymore and now we are ready to use the same environment variables in uh, inference.pi so let's do like this uh, just grab the model path for lda and uh, replace it in load function right here and uh, just copy and paste it right here in this line in load function because we are using environment variables instead raw values do the same for neural network and uh, so paste the uh, environment variable name in here and it is done uh, so far so good so we need to be sure that uh, we paste that environment variables in the correct places and as i see from uh, the code that is good and i save it I am double saving also the rest files to be sure that everything is on the last changes and uh, ready to use. Now we are ready to build the new image from the last changes that we made and for this we are using the same docker build function in our terminal just uh, replace the image name from second one to third one because we, now we are having that image number three. 
and we finish this line with docker and dot at the end just press enter and we are seeing that uh, the docker is uh, just building up and uh, in few seconds we gonna see the our image will be finished and this is right now you can see the finish on the top of the information window and then we can declare the screen and go to the next step and the next step is to run our new image by typing this command uh, from terminal and we are using the same command as we used before and just the only one thing what we need to change is the image name to model 3 and we are going to run inference.pi so we can see some output in our terminal and what we can to highlight here is uh, it is printed out uh, the location of job uh, model file in here and in here and this is what we expected to see and this is some result from our classifiers for both models and now we can go to our explorer uh, to see that files are okay and go to docker tool that you're gonna be installed on your computer and in here you could play with the docker tool and to select the most recent one in here you can check the all action that is going behind your image uh, because it's still running and uh, to going to analyze some information what is happening it is very good tool to uh, get a better understanding what is going on and to get a deeper knowledge about docker about docker tool docker hub and you can navigate to different sections and compare different image and to stop or run or do something with your image uh, immediately by selecting a specific command so this is highly recommend to play around this and uh, this is what I'm doing and learning and suggest you do the same so this is the finish line of this video tutorial and we made a big job if you are with me so congratulations with that and uh, suggest a new topic for the next video so see you there and never stop learning so see you on the next video